Alright, welcome back for Let's Play Deadly Creatures, part 14, chapter 6. We're back as the scorpion. We're gonna go travel around our giant cactus that we just broke into, I suppose. As that is what you do once you break into a giant cactus. Alright. So here we see a bit more, like, color added to... Oh wait, no, I guess we don't. It was kind of colorful back there, though. There was greens and purples all about. Pretty crazy. Just going around. Here we meet a new enemy. It's hidden in the wall there. It's a praying mantis, I think, with wings and shit. It's gonna, like, chase after us. Now, praying mantis is a pretty cheap enemy for the fact that it can block and it's fast, which, you know, most of them are either fast or they can block. So you kind of got to be careful with it. But just like all the other enemies in the game, once you get one hit on it, you can pretty much combo it. Although its attacks can break your block quite easily. We got our new finisher. This is the first finisher that does not kill off the enemy with the stinger. And of course we eat the praying mantis. Because we need a new ability called chop. Which lets us cut down those pesky bits of extremely tough grass. There you go. So, a lot of the uh, Scorpion's moves to this point, aside from the new combos, we seem to be more, like, exploration, you know, helping us get through the stages instead of being combat-based moves, unlike the spider, which is interesting, I suppose, because whenever the Scorpion gets a new move, it gets, like, quite a few to add on to the combos for more battle-type things, so sometimes the new moves are going to be more exploration. But maybe that's just, you know, you notice them better than the spider ones. Because you don't really notice the spider's move of being able to climb on ceilings all of a sudden. It's not really something that registers as a move, I guess. Being able to chop through the grass, we kind of go backwards a little bit. And sometimes you'll be able to find... Uh, grubs hidden in the grass. So, loading. I noticed throughout the level that while when you get the uh, cut grass attack, or whatever you want to call it, chop, wait, it's called chop, yeah. That one has a lot more like split paths connected to it than digging up ground does, which is interesting, I suppose. It's kind of, I mean, it's nice that they gave you a exploration ability that gives you range of being able to go on split paths, although most of the split paths are pretty short and end quickly. I'm not sure if they'll continue for very long. That horny toad's back. We're going to have to beat him as the scorpion. Which is more difficult, because the scorpion does not have ranged attacks. So I can't just sort of cheap shot him from far away like I did with the, uh... Like I did with the tarantula. Also, the... The, uh, stinger can be blocked by this guy, which makes it kind of difficult at times, but... You know... Right this time, I fight him, he's pretty easy. We run into a few more of them later on, they become somewhat of a natural enemy. Not that really any of the enemies in this game become natural enemies. Do I get to, uh, finish them? Via combo? Yep. There we go. This is a second new combo that we run into. Definitely one of the more brutal ones. Putting our tail down for some reason. This is where... Oh, 
I wonder what that was. This is where the chapter ended for the tarantula, as you'll remember. Which means we get another fight between the rivals. It's pretty one-sided, because he doesn't jump out of the way like you'd expect him to. So I just kind of wail on him for a bit. Then he gets caught in that corner, which was weird. That seems to happen a lot with this, uh, in this level. I knock people kind of onto ledges or, pl or areas of the level they shouldn't really be able to reach. And fortunately, it doesn't glitch out or anything. I'm able to still kill them because the stinger reaches, but it's just really awkward. Get confused for a second here for some reason. I don't notice that grass over in the corner and I kind of wander around a little bit. As you can see, we run into another one already. Like I said, they become fairly common. See, he's kind of glitched himself into a corner there. And I can't hit him because he's constantly blocking. And none of my attacks can break its block, which is weird. Try to go around the side. Maybe you just can't hit him from the side. But no, he's just invincible, and it's weird. So I decide to leave. And then he moves, and I'm like, okay, now I can get him. I just, I'm pretty sure I just straight up kill him this time. I don't do the combo. Maybe I do. Oh, I do. This is one of my favorite combos of the, at this point. It's just... A lot more brutal than the other ones. It's definitely more fatality than the regular stab to the stomach that you run into with most of the insects. We're running back into some beetles. Not very, not very fair to surround me with beetles. And we haven't done this in a while, so let's do it again. So at this point, we run into a lot more uh, following the same path for a short while that we do with the tarantula. Or at least... No, wait. We haven't gotten here with the tarantula yet, but... That was when I played as the tarantula. Never mind. Take that back. That was stupid of me to say. But when you look around these levels, you'll notice there's a lot of like areas that the scorpion cannot reach, which kind of hints to the fact that you're going to be coming through here as the tarantula at some point. That's the first time I used the uh, B attack for the scorpion right there. Which is essentially the same as the uh, one that the tarantula has where you just sort of jump and pounce on them. Except he uses his stinger, obviously. And it poisons as well as damages. So, that's interesting. To note. At this point I'm kind of worried because I don't have much health left and I'm afraid I'm going to run into something I can't handle. We go down here because I was pretty sure this wasn't the way that you're supposed to go, so I'm just checking around for like split paths that you can walk along. But we're coming up to the end of this segment because I cut this one when we reached a loading screen because I didn't have a save point and I wanted to make this one a bit longer than usual. So once we read the, reach that load screen, I'm going to cut this video down. And here it is, so I will see you guys in part 15.